What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. Today we are reviewing TJ Rogers. If Tyshawn didn't win Skater of the Year, the other three top guys were TJ Rogers, Nija, and T-Funk. We've already reviewed Nija and T-Funk, so today, TJ. Rewind and play. Some kids just watching some skateboarding. Maybe we'll do Tyshawn next week because we haven't gotten very many people submitting their footage. So let's just do pros. You guys have been asking for it for a while. I was always concerned about the copywriting, but I'm pretty sure I'm covered by fair use because I'm commentating this. Look, that's that's what I would do if I won Skater of the Year. No big deal, no big deal, no big deal. I'm the greatest. Switch flip up, switch back lip, starting off with a bang. The big switch 180 was nice too. Switch back heel, so what I'm looking for is not this guy. Wait a minute, your Skater of the Year part is you and your buddies? What's going on here? I did skim over this earlier. I think uh, I had a little mini debate with somebody today in the comments, and they said, I don't think Skater of the Year should be strictly based off the best tricks. And that's kind of where I disagree. I think it should be mostly the best tricks. But there is an argument here, heel drag, for style, right? And as I skimmed through this earlier today, this guy's style is undeniable. And I don't want to get into this is it fake thing because if it is fake, it's more refined, right? It's something along the lines of trying not to tic-tac and trying to look like you're under control versus trying to bend your leg super weird. Another argument we had as far as style goes is uh, T-Funk's ollie and does the immediate knee bend and the part filled with 50-50s. It leaves a lot to be desired, but uh, everyone says, well, the style matters for him. I would say that this style, at least for me, maybe I'm biased, is is more aesthetic. And I think the reason is, someone had mentioned, you could land a trick and then do this, ta-da, after every trick and call that your style. But that doesn't make the trick good, especially if every trick in the part is a fucking 50-50. So what we're looking for here, we wanna see variety, or at least I do. I wanna see stairs, rails, ledges, switch, fakey, nolly, you know, I want to see it mixed up. I certainly don't want to see nothing but 50-50s. I don't want to keep going back to that, but I got a lot of like, I got a lot of blowback on the talking shit on T-Funk thing, which by the way, I make these videos to be entertaining, but I'm also kind of right about most of what I say. I might try to poke the bear and, and get you guys to cry a little bit, but most of what I'm saying is correct. And right here, have we seen anything sloppy yet? Has his hand touched the ground yet? Have we seen a 50-50 on a curb yet? No. So even before this part's over, look how high he caught that. And a lot of these, he's going fast. No, uh, I don't know, no sloppiness, no sloppiness to, to speak of. And we get the variety of spots. We get switch, we get regular, we get flip in, we get flip out. We get some really crazy tricks. I think if you lined this one up one-on-one -on -one against the T-Funk, part for me this is a it's it's not even close it's a first round knockout um but again i guess i guess there's a lot in skateboarding that can be debated hard flip over the skate stopper love to see it back heel over the rail i like that uh they're putting a lot of the ledge tricks together and then they're putting the uh the stairs tricks together not a lot of handrails but we did start off with a switch back lip pretty big one Switch front shove down the stairs. We're getting a lot more fakey than you would expect. You know, you see a guy that looks like this. My first thought is like, I don't know, Tom Asta-esque or uh, whenever I see like the big shoes, I go, I think of Rob Welsh too. Or even like, I don't know, maybe not this clothing style, but like PJ Ladd, right? You know, after you see the first few tricks that you're gonna get everything clean. And I think that's, uh, I think that's what's, what you would desire in your own video part, right? We're also mixing it up with the uh, the fisheye and the long lens. Giant switchback 180. You love to see it. Again, I don't claim to not be biased, okay? But when you're skateboarding, your hands dragging across the ground, you're doing flat ground 50-50s, you know what? I feel like I'm talking too much about this. I just, I answered so many comments of people that were just annoyed that, that I have an opinion. And uh, when your hand is on the ground, that's not an opinion anymore. That's a physical thing happening, right? 
<laughs> like, I, like, it's not like, in my opinion, his hand touched. No, no, it's either like a yes or a no kind of thing. We got the ledges. That was a potential toe heel drag. Are we going to call him out right now? I hope not. We called somebody out earlier. Let's see. It could be all in my head. I could be overthinking it. Okay, it's dangling. And you know what? It, it's okay. It passes the test. Passes the, the coach's challenge. Nolly's over the rail. Oh, Nolly 180. Thought it was going to be straight Nolly. We're going to get a Nolly, uh, Nolly back 180 over this giant fucking... Look, if you fall, a pole goes into your butthole. Yep. <laughs> it costs extra, usually. Okay, and then we get the, the banger, which, in my opinion, was kind of disappointing. Look at the catch, right? We got to respect the catch. But after all I've said, I have to stay true to what I've been saying, right? I can't flip-flop all the time. I was bitching about the hand touch, and right here, through the legs, we can see the evidence of a sloppy trick. And after all this praise, after all of this praise, this guy disrespects me like this. I was trying to make an argument, and that's, that's your banger? That's the best trick? Nah, whatever. Still a great part. It doesn't always work, but I try to always keep my opinion consistent so you guys can't prove me wrong. So if I'm gonna spend this entire episode complaining about T-Funk's hands, because people love the T-Funk topic, then I can't let TJ get away with this. So that was certainly a strike against him. But let's be real, that's only one strike in the whole five minute video part. If we were comparing this to T-Funk, four of those five minutes is just rolling fast. This was all action, a lot of different tricks were done on many different obstacles, maybe lacked a little bit in the handrail department, but we did get a huge switch back lip. Well, we actually got two of them, didn't we? Oh no, repeated tricks. Overall though, in my opinion, this blows T-Funk out of the water, but also in my opinion, still doesn't quite touch what Nigel did. Nolly flip over this rail, for example. Maybe there's 10, 20 people in the world that can do that. And then you look at some of these Nigel tricks, and I'm hard pressed to find anyone who can do half of them. So I guess that's just where my opinion lies. If you disagree, let me know in a comment below. Also let me know which part we should review next. We'll probably do Taishan, then we can do like a head to head kind of thing. Ninja review, the series is kind of dead. It's winter, no one's submitting their footage. So we might as well just review pros from now on, which is something I already do on Twitch, but when I do this, it's a little more formal versus on Twitch, I just get drunk and watch skating. So if you guys haven't checked out my Twitch, do that. And if you wanna submit footage to me for a regular episode of Ninja Review, go for it. Watch the old episodes, figure out how to do it. The submission process is easy. And uh, let me know what you think of the new format. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Have a great weekend. Kuna Matata. In the arms.